All right. You and the President and then, both described the use of chemical weapons by Syria as a bright line that must not be crossed without incurring serious consequences. Tens of thousands of civilians have already been killed in Syria. Why wasn't the bright line way back in the rearview mirror? Look, I, we have been very um, clear about our policy towards Syria. We have engaged uh, internationally and directly, unilaterally, in support of the Syrian people and the Syrian opposition. Uh, we've provided humanitarian support to the Syrian people and non-lethal support uh, to the opposition. We have uh, worked with our international partners to help the Syrian opposition form itself uh, and to take steps uh, to prepare for a post-Assad Syria, a post-Assad Syria that, uh, in which there is a government that reflects the will and wishes of the Syrian people and respects uh, the liberties of the Syrian people. Uh, you know, this is a, the fact of the matter is that Assad's brutality uh, has earned him uh, a, a dismal place in history. And uh, we continue to work with our partners to help uh, hasten the day when that regime uh, is no longer uh, in any control of any part of Syria. Uh, in the meantime, on the issue of Syria's chemical weapons, we have been, and the President has been, uh, exceedingly clear about the red line uh, that you mentioned. And uh, we continue to make clear uh, that if the Assad regime were to use chemical weapons uh, in response to the fact that the opposition has been making gains and that their brutal crackdown uh, has not worked, uh, or if they were to engage in proliferation, there will be consequences. And, uh, you know, this is a, a grave matter and one that the President takes very seriously, as uh, do uh, our many international partners on this issue. Chrissy. On the 